Well, uh, magical wonders in photos that may be, but we now have a segment on medical tools that were used in the Joseon Dynasty. And for that, of course, our Im Yoon Hee joins me for our daily arts and culture segment. So, Yoon Hee, um, you have a museum that displays some of the uh, medical tools that were used way back by right. the royal family during Korea's uh, Joseon Dynasty. Right. So, when going to a museum, you wouldn't expect to see like a medical textbook, a scalpel, uh, but these tools are very special because they were used by by the royal family, by those doctors hundreds of years ago. Now, most of these artifacts are from the Handok Medical Pharma Museum, which was the first medical museum here in Korea. So, take a look at what some of the doctors were doing hundreds of years ago. This white porcelain kettle, topped with this fitted lid, often used with these spoons. These are just a few of the many tools used during the Joseon Dynasty to treat illness and disease. The National Palace Museum is displaying a plethora of precious artifacts from the Joseon Dynasty in an exhibition featuring the tools and equipment that were used by medical practitioners over the five-century period that ended in the late 1800s. Everything from folding screens, displaying the ten traditional symbols of longevity, to books holding the age-old secrets for good health and a long life, were used to treat the royal family. This small table was used to hold the porcelain medicine bowls. If you look at the very bottom, you can see a healthy and long life represented through the turtle ornamentation and lotus flower shaped patterning. The tools of the trade may look unfamiliar to the doctors of today, but they represent a part of Korea's history and culture that is important to preserve. During the Joseon dynasty, the royal family was not safe from disease. So we created this exhibition to show people the richness of the Joseon royal family's daily life. Although the use for these paintings, tools and books is long gone, many of them have been marked as national treasures and important folklore cultural heritage items. And each still has so much to offer hundreds of years later. Well, definitely not uh, not something that you would find in a regular museum. And you mentioned earlier that some of these items are from the Handok Medical Pharma Museum. Oh, right, it's a mouthful, mouthful. <laughs> right? Right, so um, actually the exhibition you just saw at the National Palace Museum, uh, so that exhibition is dedicated solely to those uh, tools used in the Joseon Dynasty at the Royal Palace. Uh, but this Handok Medical Pharma Museum is really special because it was the first, like I said earlier, medical museum here in Korea, uh, but it also kind of documents Korea's medis medical history through the years. So you see hundreds of years of histories and tools that doctors use. So a uh, very unique opportunity there. Um, and so they have over 10,000 uh, artifacts at that museum, a very uh, unique museum, and some of these are considered cultural, uh, priceless artifacts that you know really are valuable to our culture. Right, right, and we get to find out, I suppose, you know, how developed Korean uh, medicine and uh, I suppose mm -hmm. surgery was back mm -hmm. back in the days, back in the Joseon Dynasty, mm -hmm. and how it has evolved over the years as well. Mm -hmm, right. So, um, they do offer a lot, and they're also offering these special lectures as well. Um, it, that the National Palace Museum is offering these lectures starting on the 19th, so just in a few days, and it's an opportunity for viewers and for those interested to learn more about the tools um, that you see at the exhibition, but also just to learn more in general for those who. Are are curious because many people really are curious about you know what doctors were using back then right right it's it's part of Korean history and mm -hmm. definitely a unique way of learning the Korean history mm -hmm. all right Yuni thank you so much for that report and we will uh, check back with you tomorrow I'll see you then